All right, yo guys, uh, what is going on? Welcome back to another video now, another away day, Bristol City today. It's currently 5.43 in the morning. I'm currently sat outside. I don't think you can see it there. A local Tesco's. Um, currently waiting for the boys, um, Guest and Rob. Yeah, just chilling, basically. It's f I'm very, very tired. Been up since 5 o'clock. On the agenda today for breakfast is some pancakes. So that's not too bad, really. You know, normal I'm on a way day food. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's an early morning start for us. It's a long way down to Bristol. It really is. It's about, it was a four and a half or five and a half hours, some, something along them sort of lines. It's a, uh, trust me, it's a long way to go in a van. <laughs> like I say, but uh, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long trip down there, a long trip home. It'll be an even longer trip home if we go down there today and we do not see the result that we want to see. Hope we get rewarded for our travels, I really do. I'm going to go 2-1 Borough today, I think. Um, I do feel like we can get something, like I said yesterday in my preview. You know, this isn't going to be easy. This is going to be tough. But, if we approach this game in the right manner, and we are very, very much attacking um, from the off, we should be able to get something. Even a draw, I'll be happy with today. I think a draw, a bit from home. I, you know, you know I me. Mean? I take that. Um, you know, it's all about winning your home games at the end of the day. So going away from home, as long as you don't lose them, you take it. So more for three points, but this is a point. It wouldn't be too bad. I say I've said it. Five forty-four in the morning, and uh, yeah, hopefully guests to get to you soon because I'm extremely tired. And more importantly, I just want to get myself down to Bristol. So come and join me, and let's make it down to Bristol. Come on, my boy. Breakfast is served, ladies and gentlemen. This morning we start off with Kings Mill. Six golden pancakes when it actually focuses, which probably won't. And breakfast is served. Happy days. So, first, first service stop. We're stopping at Woodall. We're about three hours away now from uh, Bristol. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. I've not fell asleep yet in the van. First time for everything, I suppose. Alright, so we've stopped at our second service station now. I have no idea to where we are. All I know is it's a pretty nice done up service station. I think the last time we came here was Cardiff away. Which was last season, it's uh, near South Wales. It's as much as I know, I don't know the area, I just know that's where about it is. Um, like I say, I think we're about an hour and 20 minutes away from Bristol. Uh, it's like, what a night, half 10. So we should get there for around about, it's sat nav, say, about 12 o'clock midday, get parked up, go look at Ashton Gate and see what the crack is. But yeah, I say it's not been a bad journey so far, I fell asleep for like an hour, probably see the bags under my eyes. It's extremely tired in that van, man, but like I say, get some food now and then see what happens. Alright people, we are apparently 17 minutes away from where else we need to be. We're in the city centre now, we believe we're in Bristol. We surely didn't come in this way last time, went through um, kind of like back roads into a cricket ground. This time we're going through a city centre, so like I say, there's a lot of traffic. Um, which is, I don't know if that's stress out Mr Guest or not, who is driving this van. It's been a pretty good journey down, a little bit of traffic here and there, but apart from that really, it's been pretty decent, but like I say, Seeing, uh, seeing all sorts of sights in Bristol that you don't normally see, but like I say, it should be at the stadium for 15, well, should we say, should be where we're supposed to be in 15 minutes and then walk to the stadium. Show you guys it when we get there, eh? Read about the comment section. Tell me what is that in front of me. Let me know, write it down below. Look who it is, the man Guesty. Oh yeah, Jay, what you missing? I need a wee, man. <laughs> he needs a wee. I'm in the same boat as him, Guesty. Describe where we are, mate. Describe the other people. We're on an industrial estate in the, middle in of the heart of Bristol. And for some reason, our sat nav took us right through the city centre. So I'm often worried we're there when <laughs> I get back. It's a chance to talk about on the way home. Yeah, how was the journey, mate? How was the journey down? Good, good. Like you say, but the last, what, 20, 15, 20 mile was a bit ropey. But the M5 was choppy, and then for some reason it's brought us through the city centre. So 
but yeah otherwise we've made good time here Jay. looking forward to it as well yeah like you say i think bristol city are going to be pretty much the same as sheffield united they've sold all their best players uh i think they overachieved last season they were on the they were riding the crest of the wave with a run in the league cup you know beating man united here but can they recreate that i, I don't think so no score predictions well, mate. I, i'm gonna like you say I'd be happy to go on with another draw, but I'm going to say a 3 1 for a win today. Nice one, cheers, mate. Outside of Ashton Gate now, as you can see behind me, the away end, uh, the team has just been announced. It's unchanged from other other league games. In goal, Randolph, back four is made up of Ryan Shotton, Aidan Flint returns back to Ashton Gate. What reception will he get? We don't know. Dale Fry's in there as well. I have to pick it up a knock on Tuesday night, but he seems to be okay to play in this one. George Friends there as well. Uh, and then in the middle, we've got Johnny Housen, Adam Clayton, Lewis Wink, Stuart Downing, Braithwaite, and Asom Balonga. Steve Walker travelled, but he's in, in the squad. Uh, Tavernier's on the bench, Dimmy's on the bench, Led Pitt's on the bench. Johnson's also then, there's obviously a few other names, but like I say, Fletcher's there as well. We see what happens. I'm going to go put a 2 1. I'm going to be myself at Stadium now, and hopefully, 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 by the end of this vlog, I'm smiling. Also, my phone is going to die, so literally, if I can't finish this, it will be finishing at home later on tonight. But I say, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog up to this point. If you have, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys after the 90 minutes. Come on, brother. Hello, you guys, what's going on? My phone is nearly dead. Um, as you've seen, I've vlogged like so much, of the, obviously, so much before the game when my phone was about to die. I'm back to the van now. Come on, 2 0 winners. Never really a contest, let's be fair. Would have turned up, would have did what they had to do. <laughs> but uh, would have won 2 0. So, let's say, overall, brilliant performance from the boys. Brave for open scoring. And off put the ball across the box. Fell to him for in, put in the bottom corner. A good bit of work on the right hand side from Ryan Shotton. The ball went across and Brittany Sambalonga was there to nod it in. It was a brilliant game. Brilliant performance. Bristol City had a couple of chances. They, they, had, they uh, hit the bar from a free kick. Hit the post from across. But a, don't know why I say that for you got beat 2 0, but you know, apart from apart from them two chances. You know, that, that's all they did, so we came out, we came to Bristol, five and a half hours down the road, we absolutely smashed them, so 2 0, butter, flat T side now, happy day, still top of the league, 10 points out of four games, get in there, the boys. Yo guys, what is going on? Um, just literally arrived home, and we're hitting the voice down now, everyone's asleep in the house, it's quarter past 11. On a Saturday night, I'm selling the butter shirt. As I just said, I've just arrived home. I've uh, just been dropped off. A cracking day. Um, really, really hard to express myself. I've got to keep my voice this low. But listen, 2 0, smashed them out of the water today. Everyone played for everyone. There's a proper togetherness in our team. Um, and also, the only reason why I'm finishing it here is because my phone died. Man, <coughs> literally, after recording that clip. Come out of the stadium, my phone was at like 5%, so it died on me. But like I say, um, today was class, today the boys were on it, and you know, we smashed them. So, that's no disrespect to Bristol. They had it, you know, I told their fans afterwards they brought nothing really to us. They had a couple of chances where hit the bar, hit the post, but apart from that, really, I thought we made them look very, very average. And that's because of just how good we were. Um, you know, this team that we've got is a brilliant team. It's a brilliant eleven. It's very, very strong. Um, as a togetherness, as I've already said, and uh, everybody's playing for each other. Um, and like I said today, the attendance, obviously today, the attendance of the away was unreal. And like I said, the atmosphere was bouncing, and everyone just enjoyed it. So it's been class. But as always, if you've enjoyed this vlog, please like, comment, share, subscribe. See you guys again tomorrow for the review of Bristol City versus Middlesbrough. Until then, the fog's going up and I'm going to bed. I'm absolutely shattered. Been up since 5 o'clock this morning, quarter past 11 now. I need to do the vlog, I need to get it up, and you guys hopefully enjoy it. So, yeah, all small Borough Fan TV review is out right now. Catch you guys again soon.